Hello everyone, welcome to TestNG tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about listeners in TestNG. So if we go to the documentation of TestNG, we'll understand about the listener interface that is provided in TestNG. So there are many, uh, you know, interfaces that are provided by TestNG that will allow you to modify uh, TestNG's behavior and these interfaces so if you see these are the interfaces that are being provided and you know these are called listeners so what basically you know in a uh, layman's term uh, listeners do is they uh, allow you to modify the functionality of uh, the test ng as and also say for example you are running your test case uh, they uh, keep listening to the activity or to the outcome of uh, the particular, you know, um, case in your particular test case. So for example, if we I talk about I test listener, which I'll be taking example on. So I test listener, what it does is it basically listens to particular activities within your execution and then based on certain outcomes, say for example, there is a test case failed or test case passed, then based on those activities that occur in your test case listener perform actions that you specify within the methods that you implement that are provided in the listener so let's go to the uh, java docs of uh, the listener so here i'm at the you know test ng java docs and if you scroll down you will see i test listener right so this is a listener for test running so anything specific to you know um, running for the test whether the pass fail etc this is what the interface is all about if you click on that and this interface has certain methods that you need to implement if you are using this particular listener so on finish or on start on test failed on test fail with with timeout with within success percentage so these are some of the methods that you need to implement and these are utilized in many scenarios that you are you know trying to implement in the actual testing say for example um, you want to capture the screenshot with every failure in in your you know test cases so you can't predict any uh, you know prior to running the test cases when your test case is going to fail your test case might fail because of the application issue or the new code that has been checked in or there is an you know like an environment issue so you you can't predict when the test case is going to pass or fail and that's where listeners come very handy to basically they'll keep listening to the activities or how the execution goes if the test case fails this method will you know uh, you know be invoked and whatever you define on test failure in the listener that you know uh, code will get activated and you will get the specific results so now let's see how you can implement listener the basic listener in selenium or in in test ng so we'll go to uh, eclipse and here what i'll do is i'll simply create a new class uh, say listener and in the common okay so in common package i'm just creating listeners uh, class now in order to implement listeners what you need to do is you need to implement i test listener interface right that we have seen already so this is the interface that you have to uh, implement in order to you know use any of these methods now how you can implement the listener so in the listener class we'll simply say implements and the interface that you want to implement so whatever interface are provided in test ng so we want to implement i test listener okay so we'll say i test listener all right and if you hover over this i test listener you will see you will get an import test i test listener org dot test ng option available just import that and as soon as you will import you will see listeners uh, being highlighted there is an error there so if you just hover over here you will see that just add unimplemented methods because uh, this interface provides you the methods that need to be implemented and once you click on it it will provide you all the methods that are available in this itest listener 
interface okay so you can see here on test start on test success on test failure on test script so once you implement these method right so for example the real scenario would be you know on test failure you capture the screenshot okay on every failure that happens you capture the screenshot so you know when uh, the failure is occurring and why the failure is occurring by seeing the screenshot that is being captured on the test failure or on test success you want to you know like send the email or zip all the results and send emails to relevant you know parties okay if the test is skipped what you you need to perform certain different steps right on start or on finish so these are all methods that you can now implement and these methods will be invoked by this you know uh, listener class whenever anything that occurs that is available say for example that uh, on test start if you implement something say uh, i'll just put some dummy code here say i'll just say print something so i'll say test case is starting okay now i have implemented this on test start method so now when i'll use this listener in any of my test ng file and uh, the, uh, any of the class then this line will be printed prior to starting any of the test case right so now we have implemented this uh, listener class so this, this is very basic implementation on actual scenarios you will be actually you know having the code or uh, common uh, test utils for example taking the screenshot which we'll see in the next tutorial and then calling those methods in these particular method right so for example you know on test failure i'll want to capture a screenshot so i i i if i have the utility to capture screenshot i can simply say util dot capture screenshot right so something like that that will be doing so i'll I, i'll call that method and then that method will be called and a capture a screenshot will be captured on the test failure right so we'll see that in the next tutorial for now i'll simply you know um, put some print statements so that we can see uh, you know how the uh, listener has been implemented and how it will be uh, called and the print will happen so test failed uh, screenshot captured okay so i'll just put some dummy you know text there so that it is printed now in order to use this listener so we have created the listener listener class uh, which implements i test listener from test ng and now in order to use it you have to use it from your test ng file right so whichever test case or whichever uh, you know class file test class file needs to use it uh, this needs to be um, that particular you know uh, suite file needs to have the knowledge of this particular listener okay so for example if i'm going to run you know say for example this um, test ng dot xml right which has this ui dot login test so let me see what exactly this uh, we don't have so let me take any of the uh, test here groups demo test okay yeah let me take that this has one two three or five test cases here okay so let me just use this groups demo test right so I'll just change it here to groups demo test right now I want to in this particular UI test suite uh, which is functional testing I want to call that listener right so at this particular point of time this suite or this regression or test ng xml doesn't know where the listener is and if you run it listeners won't be called so in order to implement listener here you simply have to you know uh, make sure that you include listeners after this suite and before test tag okay so if you sim simply say listeners okay and add the listeners tag and within the listeners just add listener okay listener class that we have um, added right so we'll simply say listener and then in this particular listener you just provide the class name so what is the class name for the listener the class name for the listener is listeners 
and it is in the common package okay so we simply need to say common right and then dot listeners all right and i'll simply close the tag here so we don't have to use this okay save this particular file now this particular suit ui test suit knows that there is a listener common dot listeners that has been implemented and it has to use it when this particular suit has been run and this suit has this one class which will get executed so if i just right click and run this as test ng suit whatever methods that we have implemented in the listener will be called so if we check the details here so you can see um, test case is starting test case is starting uh, uh, prior to every test case that is there in this particular you know uh, test or in this particular class group test demo group demo test has been you know um, appended or uh, this statement has been printed test case is starting prior to each and every test case and if then there is another method or there is another implementation that we have done in the listeners which was basically in case the test case failed right then a screenshot captured okay so let's change something in this particular uh, test so what i'll do is i'll simply uh, fail one particular test okay so i'll simply say assert dot assert and here if you scroll down you will see uh, you know assert true and just pass uh, false there okay so this expects true condition but we are passing false so this test case will fail right so b test 2 will fail and we should get that particular statement uh, being printed as well now let me try to run it and see the results so yep so the test case has failed and let's see if that particular uh, statement has been printed so b test 2 has failed but the screenshot capture statement hasn't been printed let me save it again and run it all right and let me run it again Yeah, so this time, if you see here, uh, test failed and screenshot captured, right? So this test two is where the test case failed and the screenshot got captured, all right? Here as well, if you see, this is the exception. It was expecting true, but found false. And in the listener method, if you go, this is what we have implemented, right? So on test failure, print this particular statement now in the actual scenario you will be actually you know implementing whatever you want to do so for example you want to you know uh, capture the screenshot on test failure or you want to perform some other you know mechanism then you can implement all that in this particular method here on test failure and this listener will keep listening for that activity in your test execution and based on the results or whatever outcome of that particular execution is these methods will be called and automatically these will get executed so this is really really helpful very easy to set up um, you know listeners are sort of core thing when you are actually doing the automation and designing your automation framework to basically you know enable you to perform a better you know automation uh, testing and uh, enhance the overall uh, productivity when you are doing the automation testing using TestNG. So that's all for the basics about the listeners in TestNG. In the next tutorial, we'll understand how you can implement, you know, capturing screenshots when the test case fails with the, um, uh, and implement that method in the on test failure and see how we can capture that for the listeners. So that's all for this tutorial. Hope you like it. Thank you very much for watching.